channel. I am glad you are here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you are here for the first time, we are listening to 432 Hertz. My name is Rochelle, and I help beginners like you in affiliate marketing to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle, teach you how you can post links from the comfort of your home and make money. I do tons and tons of research to give you the tools you need to create a business the easiest, fastest, and most cost-efficient way possible. I am always looking for new tips, tricks, and secrets to share with my audience all the time. I am an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network. And I also create step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how to create an online business with an affiliate WordPress website and also learn SEO to rank on YouTube and Google and other major social media platforms. Are you a beginner? Great. I welcome you. This channel is for you. This channel is for beginners. Can you watch a video? Can you follow step-by-step -step instructions? Do you have a computer and the internet? If the answer is yes to all of these questions, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. If you're not sure on what affiliate network to join, or you're not sure on what products that you would like to promote, I've got a couple of playlists that I will leave in the link in the description and also if you look up to the right hand corner you will also find the thumbnails that you can click into and watch anytime the playlist so you can follow along with me on any of my videos I can answer any questions you may have and I'm happy to do so. This video is about search engine optimization and I take you into the back end of WordPress to create sure that you do have the Yoast plugin because we will be working with that as well. I will make a separate video for a free WordPress website and doing the search engine optimization for a free site and that will be posted within the next week. In this channel, you do not need experience. No experience, no problem. No experience necessary. So stick around, I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to be going through all of the different ways that you can add the HTML to a widget. This video is about how to add the merchant code to a widget. I will be going through the link and banner, uh, talking about the coupon and deals, and also if the merchant has other widgets and videos. So stick around. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we're over at our Share a Sale affiliate account. And here you can see I am starting with the text links. Okay, so this is the text. This is what it will look like. And if you want to get the HTML, just click Get the HTML, select all, and copy. Go over to your WordPress site. I'm just going to click into the Manage Widgets. You can also go to Appearance and click on Widgets. That is the second way. 
click just going to the dashboard and the widgets will bring you into appearance. And then what you're going to look for is custom HTML. You're going to look for custom HTML and then you're going to click on the downward arrow. You will see the drop down box and hit your these choices that appear in this. I have my post and my archives, pages, header, right widgets. I also have the BuddyPress members home and the BuddyPress group home and the WordPress mega menu widgets. I'm just going to add them into my mega uh, menu it widget. I'm just going to click on here. And you will see the blue box with this check mark and then you click on add widget. You will see the box that you chose mine was the word uh, the WP mega opened up. Put in a, ti a title, and here is where you would put in the HTML. So, for an example, I'm over here text. So I'm going to select that, copy, go back over the the code in here in this this open or we can cho choose to and I want to add another custom HTML and this time I am going to add it to the header right so this is the top part of my blog on the right hand side is going to show up. So you just click, you get the blue box with the white check mark, very, very easy, and then click Add Widget. You will see all of your boxes come up and the HTML will be opened. The custom HTML, okay, so the next one we are gonna. So do you see how quickly that you can do this? Very, very quickly. You just choose your banner and copy over to your widget and place And you can give it a type so it's okay. One will be create a custom link. So you just click into create a custom link. And here it says browse the web, find pages that you want to link to directly. Okay, so I'm already in my merchants dashboard. So I'm just going to click on this link right here where it says UW page. And I'm kind of a fan of Star Wars. So I'm going to look for, I'm going to search for Star Wars. So I'm going to copy that and go back over to my share a sale where I'm creating a custom link. Oh. It's 
Links.com. I'm going to go into Create a Custom Link. Custom call that I just got from my merchant sales page. And plus I'm working in the affiliate um, custom link generator and I'm just going to paste my information in that I got and I'm going to click on create a custom link. So this is the custom link right here. I can take this one and use this one link and put an additional tracking value in and then click on update the link. Now I would take this long link here, copy that, go over to the tiny URL that's tinyurl.com. That's the one that I'm using. You can also use Bitly. And could ultimately put that link anywhere. You and your dashboard will give you a shortcut to get to your widgets. arrow <sighs> or what sometimes I'm pretty so I'm just waiting. And the custom HTML, you have a choice. This is where you can put it. I'm going to put it in my mobile menu widgets. You just cl click on, you wait for the box to turn blue with the white check mark, check mark and then you click on add widget. Your widget it will then be to the right place that you have chosen and it will have an open box. You will see it here appear on the right hand side and as soon as it appears you will see the box is open. Okay, so there is the mobile menu widgets, the box is open. So a banner information from the the banner and links Just, you could put a title in and then you can put your information in there open you can go go back into account to another merchant just going to go to banners very quick. Choose a banner. That's a cool looking banner. Make sure that you select all of the HTML code. This all goes together. If you're missing any, it will not show up. Copy it over to your widget. And where you have added 
your last widget, what you can do is you make sure you're right at the end and you hit enter. You should see this is where you can place your next widget if you choose and then save your changes. and click done. Your widgets, you can add them separately like this one here or you can add them to together. Over to my ShareASale account, there is a video. A video is also a widget. and I'm in my merchants dashboard and here they have videos. All you do is copy this HTML code HTML code so you just click on get HTML code. This is your code. You have to make sure you're selecting all of your code. And then you're going to copy it. And, it's and you can either add it into one of your that you've already opened. Like for instance here, I've got two existing ones that I've already opened. Or you can again go into the custom HTML, click on the downward arrow, choose the place that you would like to put this widget. And I'm going to put it in what is called the header right. Add widget. I'm going to show you all of these widgets after this event. and then where I am putting the HTML the box will be open so there it says header right and I already have a Google Translate and I already have one custom HTML so I am just going to click into here paste This is actually a lot of information here. And then click done. So that's all you need to do to add your links, add a video and also the same thing if you wanted to add a coupon. Anything that's HTML you can add very easily. Okay, so there's no coupons here. It's okay, so all you do here to, to see it or you can click select all actual link right there so click into here and here you will see your information select all and copy for to your widget this is to do so just remember the custom HTML yeah and put your HTML information in okay so I've got the HTML information from the coupon and I'm going to custom HTML again
And I'm going to go to the Buddy Press member's home. And I'm just going to widget. It will open up where I want it to be. And you will see it open up. <laughs> where you see the number, place your cursor, you do a right click, and paste. Product showcase. Oh, this one only has one pro product. Okay. And you will be able to see what your merchant has. This one has text links, banners, create a custom link, deals of coupons, and vid videos accounts here say I go over to the uh, um, the Halloween costumes and click when you're doing a product show showcase see, uh, from the same site oh, look at the dates Okay, so I'm in. Oh, sorry, this is the data feed, and it tells you where what the products are. This is the product showcase here that I've, I have created a showcase. And it only takes a minute to merchant's name, and you will see their keywords. So I'm just click. So no problem. Choose the area where I'm going to put it, which is in the footer. Make sure you see the blue with the white check check mark and then click on add widget you will see on the right hand side of your screen the area opening up and you will see the open widget make sure that you are in beside the number under where it says content right click and paste save close this now remember if you can't close it there's a problem and you should take it out okay so those are all done and we're just going to click manage with a live preview where you will find the widgets the header right the footer widget and the mobile okay so each one of these widgets has their own area where like, it's like a little pencil and you just like But it does take a, a little. And while I'm on, and the just wanted to mention that this ebook, I am actually working on it more.
Alright, cut. Opened up now. So I can edit this widget right here that I was editing. And when I'm done, I can just click done. But it's a good idea to go to the dashboard and put your widgets in that way because this way does take longer. Just clicking on done. Okay, I want to edit this widget here. So this is going to be in the header. This is where I put this widget. And it takes my computer a little longer to, for me to navigate around. Okay, so here, this is where I put the widget. Header right. Now, I can, again, as soon as it's in, I'm just gonna click done and I want to close this. I want this to close for me. I can move these around. When you see the four headed arrow, you can move your widgets around. Not around, but up or down. So I have just moved this widget up and I actually want it. When you are moving your anything, any box around edit arrows, it's best to move your widget in a downward in a downward way because that will then leave a space for the next widget to go in. I'm showing you here but it's not working. Four headed arrow and then pull the widget down in order for there to be a space for the next widget to move into that space. And most of the time it does work. It doesn't seem to want to work right now. I'm just going to take the Google Translate out for now. Anytime you want to remove a widget, you just click in the downward arrow and click Remove. sure you save your change. So these are the other area. This is the posts area and the when my so as I scroll down spot or too many banners in one spot because then it, it won't look right. the post and the archives we checked out the header check out It's just adding the. It's just pulling up my information right now. It's closing that. Here you can see this is the sh share a sale. This. No, sorry, this is the uh, name cheap banner to start your WordPress for a dollar. I believe it's like a dollar thirty-six. And then you have, uh, and then I have, um, for and then I have 
put my recent recent post the recent posts are very very long I'm just going to take this widget remove this widget So here is the footer widgets here. The WordPress, which is to get creative for a buck, uh, to become an affiliate, and the product showcase. This is just an example of, and at any time you can when you have your not around. You can move them up or move them down. And you can also add another widget. The share a sale product discovery tool by a share a sale merchant. It just means that your website is not a. It just means that you're not fitting in with their program, and just try and find another merchant. Don't get frustrated over it. It's happened to me as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the get links. And copy. Been correct. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to click add a widget. You will see the list of widgets come up. This is the other way you can add a widget using a live preview. Find your custom HTML. Put it down. And if you don't have a fast computer to begin with, it'll be very hard to work with. on this plus sign right there you see the box opening up I think it's just amazing the way that the WordPress is actually do work thank you for watching this video all the way through I apologize that it is a, a more it is longer than it should be I tried to make the videos between 10 and 15 minutes. There was an enormous amount of information and I couldn't split it in two. It needed to be done all at one time. So if you have found this video helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up because when you show me that you like what I'm doing, I will create more videos of the same kind. And also when you click the like icon it shows YouTube that you like what I'm doing and uh, they will recommend my videos more and this will help to support my channel and it in the long run it will also help you I can answer any questions that you have there is a couple of places that are a little bit more technical and especially when it comes to the Yoast plugin so if you have any questions then just leave me a comment in the box and I will get back to you 
give me about 12 to 24 hours because I am finishing off this series of building an affiliate uh, marketing business online and I am creating a ebook in which will you will be able to download sort of like a workbook that you can follow through it will have all of the videos that you need to be able to create your domain name and create your WordPress website customize your WordPress website and how to join the share a sale network if you want to become an affiliate with the share a sale network the, I will leave the link in the description and I give you my guarantee that if you have any questions I will answer them and I will help you and it doesn't cost you anything to join but you do need to have the knowledge you need to have the knowledge and you need to know what to do so thank you again for coming on this journey with me and I call it a journey because it is stay safe and have yourself a wonderful evening